Most people know Josh Kushner as the younger brother of former President Trump's son-in-law and advisor, Jared Kushner, or even as the son of New York City real estate mogul, Charles Kushner, who spent some time in prison nearly two decades ago for witness tampering, tax evasion, and campaign finance violations. He's also married to supermodel Carly Kloss. But Josh became the first Kushner ever to make Forbes' billionaire list this year, thanks to his success as a venture capitalist, which has largely flown under the radar outside of the industry. Josh founded his venture capital firm Thrive Capital in 2010, shortly after he graduated from Harvard Business School, where he did some angel investing and caught the attention of venture capital firm General Catalyst's co-founder, Joel Cutler, who convinced Josh to start his own fund and vouched for him when he did. Cutler and General Catalyst ended up seeding Thrive's first $5 million funding round in 2010 and introduced Josh to other investors helping to get the young Thrive off the ground. So over the years, Thrive has invested in some of the most high profile startups of the last decade, including Robinhood, Slack, Spotify, and even Kim Kardashian's shapewear brand Skims. But his best investments may have been in Instagram and digital payments firm Stripe. Way back in 2012, when Thrive was still a very young firm, Josh muscled into Instagram's competitive Series B funding round alongside venture capital heavyweights like Sequoia Capital, investing in the company at a $500 million valuation just days before Facebook acquired the social media company, earning Josh's fund a quick 100% return. Then in 2014, Thrive actually led a $70 million funding round that valued Stripe at just over $3 billion, which is a lot less than the $150 billion plus that Stripe was valued at in the secondary market transaction last year. Goldman Sachs unit Peter Show Partners invested an estimated $120 million in Thrive last May in return for what we estimate to be a 3% stake. That would value the firm at $3.6 billion, and we figured Josh owns about two-thirds of Thrive leaving him with a $1.9 billion stake after we applied a conservative 20% private company discount. As there always are, there have been some bumps along the way for Josh. He actually founded a health insurance company based around Obamacare shortly before his brother and former President Donald Trump entered the White House. And after pivoting away from its Obamacare-based business model, the company actually went public at a valuation north of $7 billion in early 2021. But by the time Forbes finalized our list of the world's billionaires this March, the company's market capitalization had created to under $2 billion, leaving Thrive, which now holds Josh's stake with 20% ownership of the company. Forbes has heard from founders like Spotify's Daniel Eck and Instagram's Kevin Systrom that Josh is a hands-on investor that really understands the startup journey and they really appreciate that. That's allowed him to get into some highly competitive deals. And so Thrive continues to grow. Just this February, it raised eighth and largest funding round to date at $3 billion after raising $2 billion in a funding round a year earlier. And its total assets now stand at around $16 billion. While Josh has never played an active role at Kushner Companies, his family's real estate business, just last September, he, his wife Carly Kloss, and their newborn son moved into a $43 million penthouse in New York City's Puck Building, which is owned by Kushner Companies and also home to Thrive Capital's headquarters. So I think it's fair to say that for Josh, his family and his business are never far away from one another.